There you go. So, how exclusive is the dress down club? Only 100 people get the chance to do it. <laughs> the White House and the Biden campaign facing even more questions after a brand new batch of polls show Biden's performance hitting new lows. An ABC News Washington Post poll shows a whopping 56% of voters disapprove of Biden's job so far as president. Even more troubling for Biden, 62% of Democratic voters want to see somebody else run in 2024. The president himself did have a chance to respond to all of it earlier today. Listen. Are you Let's move this mic, please, everyone. We have to move out, so everyone, please, thank you very much. President, thank you very much, everyone. Thank ABC you very much, everyone. Have a and his running mate isn't making it any easier. Another poll shows only 11% of people have a very positive feeling toward Kamala Harris. Let's bring in Fox News contributor Steve Hilton. Steve, uh, if you were running a campaign for your old boss and you were seeing numbers like this, what advice would you give him? First of all, change the policies, because <laughs> the underlying problem here is not the perception. These guys in the White House and the, te the Biden team, for all summer long, they've been fanning out across the country. They told us they were doing this, selling Bidenomics. That's what they were doing. So you had Biden and Kamala Harris and Buttigieg and Jennifer Granham, all of them selling Bidenomics. And the verdict is in from the American people. Bidenomics sucks. And that is the underlying fact of these polls. The economic data in these polls is a disaster for Biden on every single measure. What is it, 75% mm -hmm. rate the economy negatively? On food prices, 91% of Americans rate the Biden performance negatively. The best number they have is on unemployment. And even there, it's about 60% negative. So the real story here is that on issue after issue, every aspect of the economy, things have gotten more expensive. And that's as a direct result of their policies. And by the way, it's not just the massive spending blowout that has driven this. On really serious things like health care and, and, and housing and mm -hmm. education, energy, these fundamentals of life, things have got unaffordable as a result of too much government intervention. And so the only real answer is to change direction on the policies. Yeah, you know, and... and, and you know, your old boss, David Cameron, he's only 56 years old now. So Biden's got another problem that he would have never had, which is the age <laughs> exactly. issue. Let me just run through some of these top lines from this Washington Post ABC News poll, because it just reads as a litany of horribles. Biden on the economy, approval, 30 percent. Disapproval, 64 percent. Biden on immigration, approve, 23 percent. Disapprove, 62 percent. State of the economy, approve or positive, 25 percent. 74 percent of people view it negatively. Personal financial situation, better off, 15 percent. Not as well off, 44 percent, about the same, 39 and then there's this number. This is call for number five. When asked who would you vote for for president, 51 percent of people said Trump, 42 percent Biden, which led The Washington Post to come out and say, well, we believe our own poll is an outlier. I have never seen a news organization run <laughs> so know. fast to discredit their own poll as they did with this one. Absolutely. And also ABC News. Um, yesterday, Sunday show, I don't know if you caught uh, this week with George Stephanopoulos. He wasn't actually on the show yesterday, but they had their political director, Rick Klein, kind of rushing over the numbers that were bad for Biden and sort of stumbling through trying to convey to viewers that, oh, you shouldn't take it really that seriously. It may be our poll, but it's an outlier and the numbers aren't quite right and so on. I mean, it is just embarrassing because the narrative that they've been pushing for so long is that Trump is the one who's completely unelected. And, and Biden is cruising to re-election because he's done such a great job. But the reality is that he hasn't and that people experience that. And it doesn't matter what they say with their kind of ridiculous speeches about Bidenomics and photo opportunities and all the rest of it. And what we just heard from Karine Jean-Pierre in the briefing, none of it matters because the reality is so bad. And exactly as you say, what you're getting on top of all that is the opposite of leadership from Biden. It goes from bad to worse in terms of his personal performances. And the end result is a total collapse of confidence in this administration. Yeah. Steve, great to get your take on things. You've got a terrific background in all of this. You know what you're talking about. No question about that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, John. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.